What is up? Bros. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Banished. Last episode, I'm pretty sure, we uh, set up some more houses. Uh, got another woodcutter. Food is low right now. That is not good. Hopefully, we fix that. Uh, and we set up this merch shop. I mean, uh, not <laughs> I don't know why I thought of merch shop, but <laughs> trading posts. <laughs> um, and so hopefully one of these days we will get seeds and be able to uh, start a big boy farm. Dang, look at all that iron. So juicy. 299 iron. Alright, let's go. Okay, why are you not being good food we need to fix our food problem because for some reason we keep uh, get uh, lowering our food um, well for now I guess let's just cut down the few here and there trees that are here uh, just like that like that and our only two laborers will work on that Okay. Uh, I think we should build a town hall because it will show us very useful statistics and show us how and when to uh, build our city. Um, let's speed up time, twice speed. What I want to know, like, uh, which type of food are we getting most of? So let's. Look at our barn. Berries, fish, venison. I think we're getting the most of venison. So if we set up another uh, hunting cabin somewhere, like maybe out here, we can uh, get some more food. We're not doing anything out here for now, so I think that'll actually be a good idea. Um, yeah, just like right along here. Alright, our laborers will bring resources in. Um, let's let's build a tiny road right out here. And bring it out to there. Alright. And since we have that, let's build a road out to uh, here too. Right here. Right about there. Yeah, just like that. So this hunting cabin should take up this amount of space, which is good. Uh, let's raise the priority of this. Oh, I didn't even realize we have another laborer. So, our laborers will start bringing resources over there. Alright. Doing really good on firewood. Uh, look at that. 27 adults, 4 students, 9 children. Way to go. So yeah, I don't know if I said this last episode, but I'm thinking of uh, setting up a temporary forester and planting some seeds out here. Because I think that will uh, reboost the population of the forest a little bit. And uh, maybe we can reharvest them in bulk when we need. Is this being built? No. Let's speed up time. Let's hire one builder real quick to uh, complete this road. Uh oh. Our trader has died. Old age. Hopefully, 
uh, none of the rest do. Let me see. Uh, you are 62. Uh, 19. 42. 67. Alright, well. Hopefully they stay alive for as long as possible. Oh, come on! What kind of this? Are they built on the road right now? I can't tell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Nope. That's not what I meant to do. There we go. Time. All right. Uh, our food does keep uh, going back up, but I think if our population gets any bigger, uh, the occasional uh, drop of food can be deadly. So I just wanna just wanna be more safe than sorry. All that iron though—it's just so nice to look at. Uh, all right. All right, let's speed up time. All right, I'll work on that. And I, I know I say this a lot in like every episode, but I want to try to make this one like a, you know, not as long. Because, you know, 40 minutes is a long video. Food is low again, and we have another student. Firewood is low. Come on. You guys are doing so good. Oh, we have another student. Alright. Let's, uh... Turn the speed back down. Another kid was born. Alright, two more hunters. Okay. There, so now if another student becomes an adult, we will uh, be able to hire them as a hunter. We will have no laborers left, but uh, we will max out our amount of food that we can have for now. Look at all this deer. They should be hunting this. They're just walking right through our village. Like, I don't even care. Maybe I should have put it out here. Like, look at all this deer. Hopefully, we still get a bunch over here. I think we will. But, you know. All right, let's uh, speed up time. Just by a little bit. Um, let's see. I said I wanted to build a town hall. Ooh, how much resources does that need? Ooh, needs a lot of resources. I think it's about time that we put this in here, though. Ooh, that'll fit perfectly right there. Should we use this space for that? Or just put it right there. Food is low. Come on. I want to make this look as nice as possible. Let's do a double road right here. And get a builder out here. We can...
This road needs to be built over here. Oh, come on, come work back. Alright. Okay. 100% complete. Alright. So now, um, are they gonna work on the roads? Whatever. So the town hall will let me see the statistics of the city. Uh, eighty-six percent educated. Blah blah blah. So we have eighteen homes and fifteen families. Meaning that we have more than enough homes, which is good. That is what I want to see. That is all I wanted to see this whole time, and they weren't cooperating. So, <laughs> um, let's see. Over the past 100 years, okay, no, not 100 years. Uh, we've been 11 years, so let's just say 10. Uh, look at our growth rates. I mean, the children is kind of, it's kind of eh. But they all turned into adults, so they were like, re. <laughs> Alright. I don't even know what the Nomads is. So yeah, here's the statistics. 40 citizens in total. Which is good. All right, now they are not working on the road. Oh, it's fucking, just get the roads done, guys. Come on, it's not that hard. Now, where should I put the farms when I do get seeds? Like around here, or like, I'm not, I'm, I'm deciding like how big should they be? Where should they be? Should I put the houses like out here and then keep some farms back there I'm not sure well let's go in times two speed what are they doing they could use no more hunters never mind I filled it up um I'll put the blacksmith back on his job when we actually need more tools. Alright, well, let's see, where could we gather more materials? Right about here. They'll go and grab that. And um, their happiness seems to be pretty good so far, but if the Great Depression ever comes within our village, uh, we could build a church, which will keep up their happiness. Uh-oh. Another traitor has died. Well, now we're down to two laborers. I'm thinking I should put down a cemetery somewhere. Like, how big is this church? Maybe I should place it down and then just pause the building for it. Ooh, that's pretty big. Can I fit it in there? Oh, I can. Okay, well, here's where the double roads come in. Alright. Now, let's see, I'm gonna place this 
pause the build. And let's see. A cemetery. Or there. Damn, it's too small. Are you serious? What if I put this out like that? Uh. What if I get rid of this? Uh, not that. These roads. Okay. Times five speed. Uh, builders. I don't know what he's doing. He just like walked. Oh, he's a tailor? What, what are you doing? I think he's maxed out, so he's gonna go get uh, resources, maybe. Where is the tailor? Oh, he's over here. Yeah. So he's gonna become a, a laborer and go get resources, but you know. Okay, come, come on. My people are very uncooperative. Ooh. We have a traitor. Not someone who betrayed us, but a merchant. Let's see what he has. Trade. Cattle. Ooh, he has cattle. Ah, uh, I want to get them. Uh, should I? Because I don't... I'm, I'm kind of confused on how this works. Let's see. Woodcutter. Or... No. Does he accept, like, I don't know, 100 firewood? 800 units? I need 800 units of firewood? Is that what he's saying? Which I don't have. So, like... This is so confusing. Number of items available for trade. Item four. What? Okay, this is confusing. Oh, do I need to like... Uh... Okay, well first of all, let's put the speed down to one. Let's put these guys as laborers just in case. Um, what does he accept? Iron? Trade value 5. Cost 800. So, I don't know if I have enough of stuff. Okay, I'm going to order cattle from this guy the next time he comes around send them off and I'm going to stockpile as much resources as I can so let's put these guys back on builders let's build another stockpile oh come on just build around it it's gonna be like that huh Alright, that there. I just put it here. Fill the gaps. Fill the gaps. Fill the gaps. Fill the gaps. A bunch of stuff. Okay. Stockpile. Let's just fill this thing up like that. Okay, why is that one look like that? Oh, because I need to remove the trees. Okay, well. 
Alright, well, what I need to do is put a bunch of stuff in my inventory. Like, how much is venison worth? Nothing? Venice. Let's put that back. How much are logs worth? Two? What about coats? Fifteen. Alright, I'm gonna do the math on my calculator real quick. Um, calculator, calculator. Let's see here. We need to get this cattle. 800 divided by 15. I probably sound stupid for this. So we're going to need a total of like 54 coats to do that, which actually isn't that bad. I don't think it is. So, um, if we just put all this iron back and put 40 of our coats in there, because we have 53 right now, uh, he can make more coats, I think. Uh, let's see. Let's see if this works. I'm not exactly sure if I'm doing this right. Real quick, hold up. I want to see how much tools are worth. Tools. Trade. Um, tools. Iron tools. Hey, alright, so I better stick with coats. Okay. Oh, Taylor? Uh, Taylor's right there. You are going to up your production. a lot and it only takes leather which we don't really use for anything else I don't think so um, we should be good we sh shouldn't have to spend anything why are these roads not being built this is so bugging me and what is this why is that happening all right 10 times speed uh, not stockpile not this not that uh, cemetery. Are you serious? Okay, well, we're going to need to get rid of this part of the road, too. So, if they can just uh, work on that. Reserve of food is low. What do you mean? Okay, can someone come remove the roads and then I can see who it is so I know who does it? Oh. It's you. Who are you? You are a woodcutter. So that just means that he's a laborer because he doesn't have any more work to do. So it is uh, the laborers that do that. And it must be the builders that build them, but the, the builders are always lazy, so. <sighs> Ooh, another laborer. Is the laborer gone? I mean, the uh, merchant. Oops. Alright, so yeah, we have coats in here. Good, good. Okay. So, yeah. Um. I, wait, I'm overpaying by... Oh, I see. One of them. I see how it works now. So, if I have 40 coats in there, and that gave me 600, that should just mean that I need, like, a little bit more coats. Okay, so, I hope I don't sound stupid, but I think that means I, I need 20 more coats. Am I right here? Alright. 
so hopefully our tailor gets to work so I really don't need that many so I'm gonna put it down to 150 hooray they did that all right um, let's see here uh, cemetery will you fit are you serious it needs to be one size bigger okay what if I get rid of the road right there Reserve of food is low. Ah, it's never good. I hope we don't go into a starvation phase. Oh my god, yes. Okay. Build that. Make them all builders. Raise the priority. Wait, hold up. If this guy is still there... Which he's not, so never mind. But we're gonna need to build a pasture for the uh, the cows. So we should make sure that we just have one somewhere. More kids are being born, so. Uh, how many families do we have? Family 17, homes 18. Alright. We still have more than half houses. Whew. No, the gatherer. All right, we will sacrifice a builder for a gatherer. The gatherer died. That can only hold fifteen graves. Dang. Okay, well, there's that. How much does this need? To Ooh, they started building it. What do you mean? One hundred thirty stone. Uh, 30 iron. Right, I'm just gonna unpause this, let them do their thing, make them laborers, and I'm gonna need to gather more stone. So, let's just do collect the stone. We have another student. Collect that stone, collect. Collect all that stone. All that stone, collect all that stone, collect all that stone. More kids were born, I think. Okay, we still have 17 families. Reserve food is low. They just need to gather more stone. So I'll let them do that. This will take some time, I think. Hmm. No! A hunter. We have one grave in our graveyard, or cemetery. Happiness is going down. Hopefully, they're going to be alright with their happiness. We have four food in reserves. Okay, it's going up a little bit now, but come on. What are we going to do about food? We don't have the people to have more food. Alright, we have another laborer. That's not what I meant to do. What was I doing? that all right I'm going at 10 times speed and it's going that slow nice we have another laborer
Okay, another student. Does this mean we have more families? We have 20 families and 18 homes. That means they're kind of overcrowding. I mean, these people aren't, but... They're considered... They're, they're in their own family, so... You know... I think they'll survive for now. Ooh, we have a bunch more laborers. Nice. I didn't even notice. Alright. This is almost done. Alright. Now it just needs to be built. Get all of the builders done. Getting there. Hundred percent. Nice. Make all of them laborers. One of them is a blacksmith, and one of them needs to be a cleric for the church. So now they will uh, gain their happiness back. Hopefully, look at that. Forty-three members of the church. Look at that. Whoa. Save. It's a giant tower in our village. Looks nice overseeing the houses and everything. Look at that. That is beautiful. I think this playthrough is coming along really well. Except for the fact that uh, our reserve of food keeps dropping. Uh, so hopefully we can uh, get that fixed by next episode. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. I don't know how long I was playing for. Hopefully not too long. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching if you stay to the end. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.